A former warden at the Federal Women's Prison in Dublin is now headed to prison himself for sexually abusing inmates. KTVU's Evan Cernofsky was in the courtroom for the sentencing today. He's live in the newsroom tonight. All right, Evan, how many years? Yeah, Mike, Ray Garcia was sentenced to five years and ten months in prison, but that was much less than what prosecutors and his victims were hoping for. Any remorse, sir? Any remorse at all? Ray Garcia dodging our questions outside court in Oakland before learning his fate in the sex abuse case that has rocked the federal prison in Dublin. Inside court, the judge sentenced the disgraced warden to five years, ten months in prison. It's ridiculous, the little time that he got from multiple victims. Garcia was convicted in December on eight counts of sexually abusing women at the prison. He retired in 2021 after being placed on leave. After initially taking the witness stand at trial, where he denied the allegations and even blamed the victims, Garcia on Wednesday finally accepted responsibility for his crimes. He pleaded for a lenient sentence, saying he had a young son with special needs to take care of. In court, he said, quote, I stand before you a broken man. I couldn't be more ashamed. I couldn't be more sorry. It's still a pig, but oh, thank you for finally taking responsibility. Tess Korth is a former guard at the prison who wanted to see her former boss receive a stronger punishment. Before the sentencing, two victims spoke in court, one addressing Garcia directly. Quote, the hell you brought to my life is inconceivable. You raped my mind, my soul. You are a pervert and a predator. It's hard to take seriously um, hit, you know, hit his apology today when he has for months and years lied about what he did um, and attempted to, to blame the women that he abused. Susan Beatty is an attorney advocating for victims in the Dublin prison sex abuse scandal. The only way that the, the abuse, the retaliation is going to stop, the culture is going to change, is if we see real systemic change. Garcia is one of five officials at the prison to be charged with sex crimes. Now, Mike Garcia was free to leave, but was ordered to self-surrender on May 19th when he will begin his sentence. He's agreed to waive his right to an appeal. The case will, and he's also said he will pay $15,000 of restitution that will be split between two of his victims. Reporting live in the newsroom, Evan Cernofsky, KTVU, Fox 2 News. And Evan, you know, sometimes during sentencing, a judge will have some words for the defendant. Uh, did the judge say anything today? Uh, the judge certainly had some choice words. She called the Dublin prison a cesspool and pointed out that she sent in, sentenced hundreds of people to prison and she didn't expect that when they went to serve their sentences, they would be sexually abused. In this case, she pointed out that he was doing exactly that. Mike. All right, the surrender date, May 19th. Evan Cernofsky, live in the newsroom. Evan, thank you.